<sighs> I lied to you again. <laughs> you see, yesterday, I asked you to compliment yourselves in just four words, but we're not doing that today, no. Instead, what I did behind your backs was I took all of your answers, and then I broadcast them all live on Twitch, and I told those viewers that the prompt was, write your Tinder bio. And then we all voted on whether or not we date you based on your Tinder bios. So strap yourselves in, get some popcorn, and let's see how badly you get rejected and I hope you can forgive me for lying yet again. And now, our feature presentation. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and read some Tinder bios. <laughs> Acid reflux every morning. Hmm, what a lovely Tinder bio. Let me ask you guys, let me start the poll right now. Would you date? Oh no, 60% of people said no. You wouldn't date Joker five numbers? Even though they, they're bragging about their cool acid reflux every mo- Really? Shame on you for being so narrow-minded, Twitch chat. All right, we're gonna move on. Hot for a goblin. Ooh. All right. Well, audience, would you date Troy, who claims to be hot for a goblin? That could mean a few things. Is Troy saying that they're hot for being a goblin? Or are they just, do they have a crush on a goblin? Are they horny for a goblin? Hot for goblin. Well, regardless, go ahead and vote. Would you date Troy? Oh my goodness, it is swinging very heavily toward the yes option. We stand a goblin. I don't know, I don't know what the takeaway is here. It is uh, far and away looking like, yes, you would date a goblin. Let's make that the new game show. Would you date a goblin? I don't know how that would work. Oh nice, first time chatter writes, goblin these nuts. Uh, that's fucking epic. There we go. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna end this poll. 76% of you said yes, you would date Troy, who's hot for a goblin. That ain't bad, 76%. Shart free since 2015. Hubba hubba, meow. Is it hot in here or is it Zach? That's pretty, that's, that's quite a flex. I wish I could say the same. It's been two years since my last accident. And someone wrote impressive <laughs> in all caps. <laughs> all right, you guys, would you date? Would you date Zach? Uh, yes or no? Zach has probably been shark free since the distant year of 2015. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, it's a lot more torn. Ooh, it's like, it's a tie right now. 49%, 51%. Would you date Zach? Would you give Zach a big old kiss on the lips? Would you wine and dine Zach or let Zach wine and dine you? Um, a few more seconds before I end the poll out of cringe. I'm ending the poll right now. Boom! Oh my God. Guys, this was extremely close. I don't think you realize how close this was. 52% of you said yes, you would date Shart Free Zach. Here's how close the poll was. 114 people versus 105 people. That's a difference of nine people. Nine people made the Shart Free dis uh, difference. Looks like Zach, you got yourself some dates there, bud. Get the pro sharters out. I just spat all over my computer screen because someone just ranted in all caps, get the pro sharters out of this country. <laughs> Biggest cause of divorce by Pickle Rickshaw. Editor, can you add a Ooh. noise, please, from like old 90s sitcoms where uh, where they kiss for the first time? Thank you. What does this even mean? <laughs> Biggest cause of divorce. What a cool compliment slash uh, Tinder bio flex. All right, guys, would you date Pickle Rickshaw? Ooh, someone wrote he's a home wrecker. Oh shit, could be. Some people are turned on by home wreckers. All right, the winner is no, no, the no's have it. You would not date Pickle Rickshaw, the biggest cause of divorce. Very sad. 140 people, thumbs down Pickle Rickshaw. For shame, well, it can't all be winners, that's fine. That's why we do this. Got 70 alternative accounts. Damn, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just picturing seeing that on Tinder. Is this a giant red flag? Or does this turn you on? Be the Cowboy just wrote in the chat, only 70? Someone wrote, seems fun. <laughs> Oh, they're a handful. I like them. Oh boy, it's close. It is close. 45%, 55%. It's not looking great for polychromatic kaleidoscope. 57% of you guys said no, you would not date the uh, polychromatic 70 account having kaleidoscope. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't want that in someone's uh, Tinder bio. I've never had, <laughs> excuse me. I've never had the privilege of swiping through Tinder. I've never had that pleasure, that dopamine rush. I can only imagine if someone's bio included, I have 70 other 
other accounts. I don't think I'd be into that. I don't think I'd be into that. The council today came to me with, I think the single greatest video idea ever today. I want to make a dating show. I do. I want to make a true, honest to God, like live dating show. Better than the alternative. What's the alternative? Dying alone? Just to be clear, the original question, the original prompt was compliment yourself in four words. Better than the alternative is so cryptic. <laughs> What? I don't fucking get it. Anyways, would you date them? I, 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 I give you the power. I don't know what this means, but maybe you guys, and hey, it got 22 thumbs up. So this person has fans. You ever get like phlegm in your throat and then it just like alters your, your voice uh, forever? It has fans. <clears throat> I love that. My wife loves that. Shocker of the century, 61% of you said yes, you would date Blue the Blooper, who is better than the alternative. What that means, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. It's not up to me. It's the power is in your hands. You would date Blue the Blooper. Uh, consider me a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Only one restraining order. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Would you date Catherine J, who famously has just the one restraining order? To me, that shows a lot of restraint. <laughs> Thank you. But yes, one restraining order. I would proudly put that in my Tinder bio. James writes rookie numbers. Nadia writes too low. Damn, all right. Some people are not impressed. Some people want more. Let's <laughs> <laughs> L. Kevin writes, let's make two. That's adorable. The couple that encourages high restraining order numbers stays together. I think that's what my mom always said. All right, guys, I'm going to end it. It is far and away a yes. 67% of you said yes. Yes, you would give Catherine J your number. Amazing. There you go, Catherine J. You didn't ask for it, but people would approve your Tinder bio. Blunderbass laughs, <laughs>, laughs uncontrollably <laughs> at... Bazinga. Are those wedding bells I hear in the distance? Cause uh, Blunderbass, that's pretty hot. Would you date someone who laughs uncontrollably at Bazinga? <laughs> Pleb just wrote immediately yes, immediately yes. But does the rest of the Twitch chat agree? Dilf Magnet says no. I just love Dilf Magnet. That's a great name. 62% of you said yes, you would date Blunderbass. You guys can all laugh at Bazinga together. That's beautiful. All 130 of you. It's from Crunch Four Numbers, who writes, harder, better, faster, stronger. Ooh, awesome um, insertion from the council here. Really good choice, because this works great for both a compliment and a Tinder bio. Would you date someone whose Tinder bio reads, harder, better, faster, stronger? Go ahead and vote. Do you crush on Crunch, or is Crunch a hard pass? I'm going to decline and send Send him to my uncle. That's always an option. Ooh, Sky Challenger writes, I don't know. I feel like only the faster is true. <laughs> Damn. All right, you guys, I'm, um, I'm calling it. 59% of you said no. You wouldn't give Crunch any of your time. No matter how hard or better, faster, and stronger Crunch may be, it's not hard, better, fast, or strong enough. Very sad. Bye-bye. Principal called me homie. That's pretty cool. But would you date someone whose principal called them homie? Is that a flex or is that a next? Ooh, I like that. I just came up with that. Remember next? You don't remember next. That was before your time. Would you text or would you next? It's close. It's very, very close. Audience is torn. They're not sure if they're impressed by the principal calling them homie or not. Oh my god, I just realized that's the wrong principle. You should know this. Everyone should know this. 56% said no, they wouldn't. And you know what? I wouldn't either. You know why? The principle pal is your pal that's how you know it's p-a-l not p-l-e unbelievable i'm pressing my boo button i'm so disappointed in you unbelievable can pronounce worcester <laughs> can pronounce worcester sauce interesting i can't even do it allegedly would you date uncan who can proudly pronounce Wor worcester sauce and go worch Worcester, Worcester, Worcester sauce. I'm gonna look that up. Aaron can pronounce, but who cares? Wo Wo Worcester, Worcestershire, Worcestershire can pronounce Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire? Worcestershire, it is. Yeah, I'm looking it up online. I don't know if I like that. I don't think I like that. I'm I'm gonna call it Worcester sauce. Worcestershire. I don't like it. I've actually had Worcestershire sauce. I don't think I care for it. If I don't respect something, I will not learn how to say it. Thank you. I am brave. I agree. Someone's first time chat is just making fun of the way I say it. And that's fucking awesome. I love that. And guys, a commanding 88% of you would date the absolute fuck out of Uncan. Well done. You've done the impossible and correctly pronounced, uh, which, 
the, the that awful sauce that I want to put on hot dogs or burgers. Oh, this is fun. I'm having fun. I'm a Discord mod. Uh oh. All right. Uh, hot or not? Be the cowboy wrote just puked in my mouth. Mitch wrote bottom detected. F oh fuck. This one's not even close. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it. It's like. Not even 30 seconds in. 85% of you said no. You wouldn't give Joel a chance given this Tinder bio. Damn. You hate to see it, you know? You absolutely 85. And the hello kittens are pouring in the Twitch chat. You hate to see it, you know? Damn, damn, damn. Cluck and Sad writes, I perfected fedora tipping. Is that a plus or a minus Twitch chat? If you perfect fedora tipping, does that make you a Chad? Or does that make you sad? I'm just coming up with these, by the way. What is, I swear, White Claw makes me wittier and smarter and a better person. One sad chicken, cluckin' sad. I love the username. I also kind of love this answer. Let's see if the odd, oh, it's torn. Oh, it's very torn. 47% versus 53%. It is very, very close. I will, oh, I'm gonna let this timer run down. Would you date cluckin' sad if their Tinder bio simply read that they perfected Fedora tipping? The gap is widening just a touch. All right, we'll let that clock run out. We'll let that cluck run out. <laughs> 55% of you voted no. You wouldn't date Cluck and Sad. They perfected Fedora tipping. That's not a flex. All right, sorry, Cluck and Sad, but you're gonna stay sad. Strongest victim complex ever. Okay, Sydney. Shit. Miss writes run faster. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Mushroomy writes no. I'm the bigger victim. Oh, it's not even close. It's not even close. I'm just gonna call it. 87% of you said no. You wouldn't give Sydney the time of day or the chance. Sort out your your victim complex issues and then come back to me. That's what you guys are saying. That's what I'm hearing from the chat. And I, res you know what? I respect that. Absolutely. Let's go. I love these buttons. We're not even halfway through. We have so much more smut to go through. I have long schlong. Life is too short to be coy and to dance around the important issues. Discord Fox. Uh-oh, Discorder. Well, I personally respect the, uh, the audacity, but let's see what our audience thinks. It's pretty close. Leaning towards a yes, but it could swing the other direction. I've seen all these polls go <laughs> sir baby muncher just spammed smash copy and pasted that a thousand times Ooh, the gap the gap's closing in between the yeses and the nos it's getting awfully close to a tie Ooh, cam writes people who have long schlongs don't advertise it well said cam and there it is the winner with 52 percent it was close 52 percent of you guys said yes yes you would date discord fox and their long schlong uh, there's another close one just a little fyi seven people made the difference here. There's only a difference of seven people between the yeses and the noes, but the yeses have this one. Go ahead and uh, pencil in your dates on your calendars. We're all dating long schlong discord fox. Pretty cool. <laughs> Go in the other direction. Tiny peen. <laughs> Poor Luke. Tiny peen gargantuan balls. Is that a plus or a minus? I'll let you decide. You got the long schlong. How about the tiny peen? Go ahead and vote. And forgive me, it's not just the tiny peen. Backed up, literally, by the gargantuan balls. This is another, I, I think this is another yes we have. Another mess we have on our hands. Another yes we have on our hands. And just like that, not to be confused with that awful show of the same name. Holy shit, I've watched every episode of Just Like That. Don't do it. Don't even hate watch it. Terrible. 64% said yes you would date tiny peened luke love that love that that means there's hope for all of us man if, if luke can make it anyone can make it well done pretty good filler space from part-time cognito hazard very interesting username going on there would you date someone who proudly claims to be pretty good filler space vote, 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 vote. everybody vote. And that's enough of that. Uh, let's see what the, uh, uh, oh, it's close. It's a tie. It was an exact tie for a second. 59 people both voted yes and no. It was an exact tie. Oh shit, it's really close. There's a three person difference right now between yes and no. Okay, now a five person, now a three person difference. This is the closest vote yet. I am on pins and needles, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you that right now. This could go either way. Oh my God, it just flip flopped. It just flip flopped. There's a new majority. Oh my God, do you believe in miracles? This is obscene. And just like that, I hate that I keep saying that, with 52% of the votes and winning by a whopping seven votes total, you said no. You said no to pretty good filler space. And honestly, I agree. What a lame answer. What a stupid 
freaking answer. So yeah, I'm with you guys. Bye-bye part-time Cognito Hazard. All right, take your stupid dual usernames and get off the stage. Impressively long breathing streak. Would you date someone who has an impressively long breathing streak. Go ahead and vote. Oh, wait. I date them if they're rich too. I like that sassy. I like that a lot. You're thinking smart. You're thinking long-term and I respect that. All right, fellas, I'ma call it. I'ma call this poll over. 66% of you said yes. You would date someone on the internet with impressively long breathing streak. Uh, color me shocked. Uh, this was an underdog. I didn't think this would get through. I thought this was a rather boring answer from a boring username and I've been proven wrong. Y'all would date this person. so. Uh, shows what I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm very out of the Tinder game. Been out of the Tinder game since 2012, 2013. I've been out of it. My goodness gracious. I need everyone to pay attention to our next participant. <laughs> Use big kid undies. Woo, what a flex. This is from Jack the Bruffish. Not to be confused with me. I haven't graduated to big kid undies yet. Any day now. It's gonna happen, Pop. I promise. Um, Go ahead and uh, vote. Would you date this big kid undie wearing... Um, king. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Very interesting results here. Hey, hey, Bobby J writes, no, but only because I hate the word undies. Tell me you're mature without telling me you're mature. I prefer the word pampers. 60% <laughs> oh. of you said yes. Uh, you would hook up with Jack the Brawfish and their big kid undies. That's pretty cool. I love making matches happen, you know? I love love. Sue me. Dad says I'm submissive. And it's from Pizza Slut of all people. Well, are you a slut for Pizza Slut, guys? Would you date Pizza Slut based on this Tinder bio alone? And I guess you can factor in the usernames too. That's always fun. And it's close. Oh my god, it's 50% even. It is exact. It is a tie right now. It is an exact fucking tie. Oh my god. Okay, now there's a tiny bit of a difference. This is gonna... Uh, uh, editor, please make this very tense. To go either way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our closest vote yet. 51% of you. Just 51%. And winning with a mere four votes out of 184 total votes, you voted yes. You would date pizza slut whose dad says they're submissive. Let those church bells ring. Somebody's getting married. Next. Dogs kind of like me. All right, if you stumbled upon Maui's Tinder and came across this in their bio, is that enough to make you go awooga? Or is that enough to make you go pew stinky? Is that what Jar Jar said? I don't fucking know. Would you get Maui'd to Maui? <laughs> Oh, would you Maui? Maui? Oh, please, oh, oh. Jack, dating and marriage are two different things. No, they're not. No, they're fucking not. Okay? If you date someone, that means you're prepared to marry them. Okay? Don't ever tell me that they're two separate things. Not on God's green earth. No, no, thank you. Can that be a, the VOD thumbnail? Yeah, hold on. Let's make some thumbnail poses. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Um, this one's cringe. Oh shit, what were the results? No, 62% of you said no, you would not date Maui, even if dogs kind of like them. I did the fucking thumbnail facing bit for so long, the poll results ran away from me. Big heart, bigger toes. This is from Madeline Hampton. You want someone uh, with a uh, big old stompers? You tell me, go ahead and vote, baby. Would you give Madeline the rose or would you um, give Madeline the boot? And the winner with 65% of the votes is yes. Yes, you would give Madeline the rose. Give Madeline the rose for all their big toes. Plays memes on ukulele. Mmm, is that a turn on? or turn off. Do you want someone to spam uh, Darude Sandstorm on their four-stringed ukulele? Or is that big cringe? You tell me. It is very, very close. No, it's not. It's 60-40. The winner with 60% of the votes is yes. Yes, you would marry Space B. If you ever forget how to spell ukulele, just remember this for me, ready? Uku owns six Hawaiian shirts. Is that enough to make you go a wooga? Or is that enough to make you go Bazinga, but like with disgust. It's looking like a yes. It's early. It's early to call it, but uh, ladies and gents, it is looking like a yes. Slow Globetrotter already has over a hundred fans, and and there it is, and there it is, folks. Clear as day. Seventy-three percent of you said yes. Yes, you would go on a very hot date with Snow Globetrotter, who owns half a dozen Hawaiian shirts. Undefeated tickle fight 
champion mm. hot or not smash or pass date or escape oh my god 68 percent of you said no <laughs> you would not date fizzy bomb even though they're really good at tickling and tickle fights i guess you all watched that documentary on tickling i think it's called tickled i don't know it's fucked up biggest hot wheels fanatic Ooh, one at a time, guys. One at a time. We got some smashes in the chat. A lot of people are down for Ratchet RPG01. Uh, let's see what the polls say. Oh boy, you know what? I'm ending it because 74% of you said yes. Yes, you find this hella attractive and you would date a Hot Wheels King, Queen royalty. You would date Hot Wheels royalty. That's a yes. Um, I'm kind of, I'm, you know what? I'm not surprised. This seems right up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> damn <laughs> tempting well twitch chat you let me know calming joe <laughs> i want to see the pov of someone coming across this tinder bio and seeing just that i love the chat the chat writes domination challenge accepted takes the initiative bad boys finish first <laughs> oh shit someone wrote that's who i'm already with oh my god oh sh okay it's a lot closer than i thought it would be the ending result is still what i expected it's still heavily no 62 percent of you said pass hard pass to calming Joe. At least Joe's honest. Can we give Joe that? No? Okay. The fabled virginity replenisher. How does that work? Nice profile pick there, Judgment Kizzy. Uh, kind of love that BFN profile pick. Audience, go ahead and vote. Do you want to get with someone who can somehow magically give you back your virginity? I'm a married man, but I'm interested. I want to see what that, uh, you know, what that entails color me curious <laughs> yeah basically a big undo button why not how does that work and you know what i'm gonna end it right there because 73 percent of you said yes you want your virginity replenished and uh that's pretty cool judgment kizzy you're somehow a wizard you got 82 people who are like um yes please best backyardigans fanfic writer now this got a lot of love with the context of compliment yourself in four words but that's not the question anymore the question is would you date this person if this were their tinder bio oh my goodness gracious 71 percent of you would date the best backyardigans fanfic writer i just watched an iceberg video today on um lost media and one one of them was the live action Backyardigans pilot. Apparently, the pilot for Backyardigans uh, was just uh, people in like costumes, real people. There's almost no footage of it left. You can't like no footage of it exists. There's like three seconds, I think, of total footage from the Backyardigans pilot. Uh, anywho, uh, who asked, right? My dick is tangible. I'm sorry. Aren't most, if not all dicks, tangible <laughs> but is it fungible it's not looking good for uh for a goblet of soup oh nice someone wrote this is the opposite of big dick energy it really is 76 percent of you said no <laughs> you don't care if their dick's tangible you wouldn't date them and frankly sis that says a lot taller than most men is that a plus or a minus or uh you don't even care is this a flex is this a turn on or is this a n n uh Er, nah. Is this pretty neat? Or is this stinky, stinky Pete? And with 63% of the votes, you said yes. 63% of you said yes. Viv, who is taller than most men, is going on a date with a whole bunch of you. Guys, this is it. This is your final chance to date or not date our final contestant. Depression chronic, tits iconic, nihilistic cat. You may have won my heart, but can you win the hearts of the voters? For it is their hearts you must fight for. Does this person get your rose or are they getting a whole bunch of no's? Does this person make you say meow or do they make you say holy cow? Does this person make you go Ugh! or does this person make you go Ugh! does this person make your heart a flutter or does this person make your penis stutter? The winning answer with 83% of your votes is yes. You don't care about the chronic depression, all right? As long as their tits are iconic, your heart's in the right place. Nihilistic Cat, I just played matchmaker for you. Thank me later. You guys just made Nihilistic Cat's day, night, life. The depression is a bonus. <laughs>